lunar. Finally, we caught a decent runner in the morning. It was right as we were finishing up the uh, audio commentary, the final 15 minutes really at least here. So it was a tough first 30 minutes hour prior to this trade. I need to, need to let you know that. It was really rugged and you know, lots of break evens for myself. If you were able to get in and out for like, you know, 20, 25 cents a pop on a trade or two, then that's perfect. That's great cushion money. You're a step ahead. Um, not everyone's making the same money each and every day, folks. And I feel like all of us realize that, but that also includes old Josh here. So it's not every day where I'm killing it out there. Not every day am I hitting a bid. You know, it's, I'm going to take what the market will give me. So here it wasn't up until Lunar where, you know, things were a little tough. And then finally this trade came along and obviously went our way. Now with that question is, why did it work out our way? What led to it to make an easier breakout here? Easy to say it moved up. Well, let's go over this trade from head to toe. Now, if you really want to know the best entry, you could just say, okay, well, when it fell down to $9, it broke under and over, under and over, right? That's yeah, easy to say. There wasn't really a whole lot out there, you know, when the market had opened up. Now, if you're looking here, this could be a more apropos level to look at. It's really from the CVP column, and it appears to be at nine. So with this actually sticking out as sharply as it does here from the pre-market hours, wait for it. it popped right before 930. So perhaps on the pullback, it fell under and over. All right, that worked out. I didn't take the trade from there, though. I didn't have levels prepped up on this trade. Well, hey, in that case, then maybe you could look at the opening bell print right here at 945. 211, 212,000 share block fill that came in right at the market open. Uh, let me ask us here, Yehuda and uh, Scott and Kent and Larry and all of our students here, namely all of our gold students above, perhaps, I might I say. My apologies if you're not a gold student yet, but uh, what do we nickname Green as? What's the nickname that we give for Green? Buy, right? Perfect, says Eric, Larry, Bell, Scott. Perfect. So with that said, you'd like to think with as much buying as you had here and for all these nips over the level and tests of that level, that the more buying that we see off of this price, that we should get that larger pop, that larger reactionary move. Well, in hindsight, not only did it break over the opening bell print, but it flipped that damn thing into support perfectly. So actually, you could have had the chance to jump in on the breakout over the opening bell print. And then also as support once it broke under and over, under and over. I didn't take the trade from there. That's easy. This is all easy to say in hindsight. But I'm telling you, like, just as I review a trade myself, whether it's something I took or something I didn't take, well, it gives us the chance to go back and realize, well, why did this exactly make the move that it made? Well, it made the better move here at 10 o'clock and after because it already teased the breakout above this price earlier in the morning. We already saw buying interest from here. We already see a ton of buying. So the more buying that we have, something's got to give. Now, again, that's easy to say in hindsight. I didn't take this trade from here. What I did was I ended up focusing more on the breakout. It was more the test of support actually from here. So I saw this begin to push up. I missed it from you know, the, the, the initial run. I was like, All right, let's figure something out here. Let's just ask us really briefly here. What's our big resistance? Scott Bell, Larry, Eric, and all of us otherwise in chat. What's our big resistance that we have on this trade? Great to have Patrick joining us here on YouTube. Great to see Patrick G. And we got Irving, one of our uh, gold students, actually. Should be inside our trading room. Irving, just join our trading room right there. You get the full service right there as well. But um, yeah, you don't need to be in both the trading room and YouTube. It's the same deal. All right, so all of our, for all of our students inside our room, there we go. Like Alan and Rhonda, there we go. 10. You see the dark beet red line right here? So that's clearly an, an order out there. Is that support? Is that resistance? Well, the white squiggly line here is the stock. It's the price of the stock going up and down. Well, if this beet red line is above where the, the stock is trading at, that's going to be a resistance. So that's clearly a big level because not only is it a darker red line, but it's representing like 89,000 shares. That, that's a ton. Um, you know, for comparison, there is like a smaller one here at 975. And that was at, well, 975 the price, but it's for about like 39,000 shares. 
Now, if you're on YouTube, you're not going to be able to capture this one here, but inside our live trading room at 10, 11 in the morning, I wrote this comment to you at 10, 11. I wrote this chat to you on the top, right? You should see it. I'll even repop it up for you in a moment. So it shows again. I wrote to you at 10, 11 in the morning, I said lunar needs to hold above 975 area now. Well, why did I write that at 10, 11 in the morning? Well, it's because it broke over this resistance line here. Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. It's because it broke over this resistance line here. It not only broke above 75, but it broke over 10. It started to move off that too. All right, well, let me just ask us here. Really simple. I went over this with Manny on our coaching call just before. So for all of us here now, just regardless of the price, in, just in terms of simple support resistance, when a stock breaks above resistance and it runs right from it, we would like to think that the first time that it tests that price on the way back down, the first time, not necessarily the second, third, fourth, but the first test, what should we expect to see? The best test, right? Mark says support. So once it breaks above resistance, even here, I was saying, okay, well, let's see what happens. Hell, this might keep popping. It might get halted on the way up. If that were to be the case, then I wouldn't have been in the trade, right? I'm not chasing this thing that much. Um, this was already running from like $9 at first. So I felt a little iffy, but by the time this broke over 10, I'm saying, okay, well, if it can come down to 975, go under then over, then I think that there could be at least an entry there. And that's exactly what happened. I'm a cyber group member today. Just click the link below and receive all these amazing products and a world of knowledge for just $9. Do it today.